What's going on everyone? My name's Adam Reposvox and welcome to another OBS multi-platform tutorial or OBS Studio. It's now called OBS Studio as of the beginning of March. And so that's what I need to start calling it. And in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through setting up a stream layout within OBS Studio. As this is something people have requested quite a bit, I covered the basics of it in a previous tutorial. But I feel like this is going to be a walkthrough of me setting up something that I'm actually doing because I'm going to be doing a Pokemon ROM hack playthrough here. And I feel like it's easiest to teach this concept with something that I'm actually doing myself. And so I have here the layout that I've made. And again, if you want one made for yourself, I'll put my usual link to Blizzard Ball Twitter in the description below if you're willing to pay. This stuff isn't cheap. This took me quite a long time to make. And I not necessarily the greatest thing in the world, but I have a layout set up, and so I'm going to show you how to implement it within OBS Studio. And this video is brought to you by TunnelBear. Just kidding. I know that annoyed everybody in my original series, so that's fine. So here I already have a setup going, but we're not going to mess with that. We are actually going to make a new one. However, I do want some of the elements that I have here in my new one. So I'm going to go to profile and actually we're going to start from scratch just to make things safe. We're going to start from scratch. So we're going to go to profile and I am going to duplicate my YouTube gaming profile because that is somewhat necessary. The, 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 like I, I don't feel like setting up my usual stream settings. Um, and I already made a bunch of videos on how to do that in the dis um, in the playlist in the description if you haven't seen how to actually use OBS studio Well, I already have a bunch of playlists for that. So what we're instead gonna do is make a new scene collection it's Gonna be my Pokemon playthrough with some donation things and stuff like that and I'm going to I'm gonna make a stream starting be right back and stream ending uh, Image later, but for now we're just gonna add the ones that we normally have so here We start out with absolutely nothing and I'm gonna go to my audio settings and even though I just duplicated this profile, it is, it got rid of all of my audio settings. So I'm going to set it to 1080p60 for the local recording, 720p60 for the stream copy. All right, and we're good to go here. Should be all I need. All right. So let's actually set up the stream layout. So I'm going to rename this scene to... Pokemon layout because this is going to be for a Pokemon ROM hack playthrough. I'm going to go to add new image. I'm going to call it layout. Okay, we're going to browse to it. Green layouts folder, Pokemon heroes, heroes layout. Now this is a bigger image than the 1080p canvas, so I'm going to right click it and go to transform and fit to screen. Here we have the image itself. Now you will see the elements that I have and you don't see one of them here. Here is where my donation goal progress bar from Twitch alerts is going to go. This is where my webcam is going to go. This is where my gameplay is going to go. And then this is going to be a donation ticker from uh, Twitch alerts. So next we're going to add in our webcam. So video capture device, webcam, or actually C930E, webcam C930E, uh, custom, going to set it to a 4 by 3 is ish maybe let me try that highest fps 4 by 3 make the cut and then i'm just using this red box here to actually adjust the size of the webcam and yeah it looks like 4 by 3 will work fine here and then since it's over top the image as you see here what we got to do is select it down here in our sources and move down. Boom. And then, of course, I will adjust my actual webcam to look appropriate for a face cam. Next, we're going to add in our video source. So that's going to require me to actually run my ROM here. So I have that going. So now I'm going to go to add game capture. I call this VBA for Visual Boy Advance, which is the emulator I'm using. Uncheck capture any full screen app and let's just tell it to do Visual Boy Advance. Uh, I don't want it to capture my cursor because I'm not using my capture and or my cursor. And that's all I really need. Click OK. 
and it does not appear to want to work in game capture, which may be something that you experience. So, depending on your game, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to add new window capture, call it VBA. There we go, that automatically detected it. Again, turn off capture cursor. Now something some of you may want to note if you're using a laptop or something with multiple graphics cards and like an integrated graphics is if you get a black screen, try out that multi-adapter compatibility checkbox. That may solve some of your black screen issues. Alright, now we have our full screen, so let me speed through it here so we have a full image. And then I can just drag it up and resize it to fit my frame. And then again we will use these arrows to drag it down below my layout. And now we have a fairly good layout going here. So next we want to add in the browser capture elements, which I do already have the plugin for. I will post the, or in my playlist of OBS tutorials, I do have how I set up the browser capture plugin for OBS Studios. So I'll post a link to that again. Description below, I'll try to remember the YouTube card as well. So new browser source. We're going to call this donation tick, because that's what that's called, the little scrolling recent donations ticker then i'm going to open up here which alerts which alerts is the free which alerts option <laughs> and i'm gonna go down here to donation ticker and i already have all this set up again full tutorial already online but i'm just going to launch the donation ticker copy that url go over here browser source paste that url Make it wider like uh, 1200 by 600 or something, 60 FPS, click OK. And here you see it kind of scrolling here. I'm going to resize it to make sure that fits. Now something you may run into is that it goes bigger than you want, so instead I will I have to play with the resize to make the text bigger, but then as you see here, that makes the width bigger, because now the box is bigger than where I'm trying to fit it. And so to fix that, we will add a crop filter once I have it centered up here. I don't know how readable that will be, I will have to change my background element potentially, but as you see it comes, well, once it starts scrolling here, you'll see that it comes from off of the screen instead of just in that box. So to fix that, we'll go to properties, there should be a crop option. Filters. So if we right click it and go to filters, then I can click and add a crop. And I'll just call it crop. And then I can use, just like in Photoshop or something, use this, or Premiere, use this right arrow to just keep scrolling it in until I see it on the preview come up to our box. Or make a big guess. I'll say 100 pixels. Does that do it? Let's find out. 100 is not enough. Let's try 200. Still not enough. 300. Almost there. 400. That's too much. 375. You can see the little box right here. Move it over just a tad. And we have our donation ticker. Eventually scrolling through here. So next we will add the same window, but for our donation goal. So donation goal. Now this is super, it's in beta and it's super finicky. So if you launch it and it just shows a green screen instead of this, then you have to just kind of keep clicking donation goal and then come back here and launch donation goal and try to get it to work. I don't know why it's so finicky, but it's finicky. And we'll click plus, add browser source, goal, paste that in there, click OK, and then we will resize it to fit our desires. It is a little small on this layout, but the main detail that's needed is just the progress bar, so we'll go with it for now. Again, I may need to make some changes to my layout on the whole, but that's pretty much it. Now we have a full live stream layout with a donation ticker, a game we can play, and a donation go, and a face cam. And that's it. Now you can start recording or streaming. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. It was more of a walkthrough as I did something than a formal tutorial. But I've found that has that is best for me to fully explain things for those who actually want to sit through it. So 
If you enjoyed it, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe for more tech videos, leave me tutorial ideas in the comment section down below if you have something that you need to, or that you wish to uh, learn about, and otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.